boot do. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mother for anyone else. You keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends. Can you say Yeah, 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 hold on. Oh, I kind of thought they were sleep. No. So wait, are they both synth, or is it just him? I don't care either way. I mean, I'm a little prejudiced. Excuse me. Thanks so much for bringing Nick back. No problem. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah. You're diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time, then, do you? Here, every cat we agreed to for finding him, plus a little something extra. No, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. <laughs> One case at a time. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Don't mind if I do. You're trying to find someone who's been missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. No matter how painful it might be. All right. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you do? Um. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers. Waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me back. We were talking a small team. Your kid had an agenda. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course there's the Institute. The gunners? Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No. no job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think Raiders might have done this? I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Oh. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate <clears throat> cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. I've got a prototype anyway. Prototype? You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Huh. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. It's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed. Left behind or escapes the institute has the same problem. I'm a kind of failsafe. Hmm. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. 
They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks. Arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the common Then Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us on track. <laughs> Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Honestly? Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house. Kellogg's left vacant. All right. Dun dun dun, bada bum, hum bada bum, bada bum, bada bum, bada bum, bada bum, bada bum. To do a lock, something to hide, Kellogg. Why don't you give it a try? Won't be able to pick this. Hey, Valentine, no luck. I need to find a key. Double lock, ain't it? Hmm. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can give me this lock. All right. Let's go, boy. Let's go get that key. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Thanks. Dun 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 bum 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 Come on boy Come running. Not that the 
Maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Hmm, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? And you first. What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be moving with the same suspicious-looking courier. Not from the same either. Not from the caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to you. Uh -huh. An boy from the Institute League. After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are going to have a reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. I was just leaving anyway. Yo. Hey, Geneva. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Yeah, um... I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. No. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Thanks. Remember you, our new arrival. Mm -hmm. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help? Um, yeah, Kellogg's house. And if Kellogg is to live in this city, I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reason you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard ever. So that's it. So that's it? If you're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm a mayor, for God's sake, not some bug for hire. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I... Pointing, what are you hiding? All the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Hmm. Mayor McDonough, back about this key. <laughs> Word of advice never call your mother a sin unless she really is one. <coughs> Geneva. I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key for me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Please. All I want to do is find my son. <coughs> the man who owned that house kidnapped him. Oh, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget. I put it <coughs> Your son's lucky he has a father like you. Thank you, Geneva. <laughs> oh, thank God he fell in. I was gonna be like, oh God, he's not gonna fall to his death. We got the key. What do you think, boy? Something's up too, huh? I don't like it. Swatta, swatta, swatta can hit, boom! Right. Head in. You do the honor. 
All right. Especially for someone who supposedly had a kid with them. Yeah. Wait. Huh. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. A lot of stuff. Holy shit. This guy was like storing. That's a f creepy mannequin to have in the corner. Hold on. Reading him. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. What is it? Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. But you'll let him have a whip. See if he picks up on the trail. Now, before you head out. I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Your advice? Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. He's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him. Anything else that comes in those throws at you. I want you with me on this day. All right. Well, let's get that. Your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Nice. Okay, so I can have one human. Okay. The dog me. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Alright. Hmm. Come on, you two. So his name is Dog Meat. Run, dog meat, run. The fans. <laughs> <laughs> 